What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about something really important, which is battery degradation. This is like all matching. I did not do that on purpose. So I wanted to make this video at 25,000 miles uh, and I got kind of busy and I recorded it at like 26,000 miles and then I never edited it because I had a lot of other stuff going on. And now I'm at 27,200 miles. Uh, and I'm actually glad that it got kind of delayed because my battery's been doing something pretty interesting. So right off the bat, let's look at my degradation chart. You can see where my battery's at now after 27,000 miles, but make sure you watch this one till the end because there's a lot of important information here. And I got data from a lot of you actually, uh, from Twitter and some people emailed me and I'm going to show you what other people are seeing with their battery degradation. So this video will be cut kind of weird. You'll see me in the past and you'll see me here. So let's check it out. Okay, so we're looking at Tesla Fi here. You can see in the top right, right here, odometer is at 27,200 miles. We're currently at 80% state of charge. This chart right here, you can see where I started. I started uh, recording my Tesla Fi data back in March. Uh, I didn't set up Tesla Fi right after I got the car. I got the car in February. And back then my rated range was around 309 miles. You can see it stayed steady. We lost a pretty good amount. And this is right around uh, 25,000 miles. So you can see this is 24,300. And this is about where I wanted to make the video, right around here. I did end up recording around this time here. Um, but I'm glad that I was delayed because now you can see here my car just finished charging about a half hour ago. And according to the latest data, my car is at 303 miles of rated range. So if we were to take this one data point, we can see since March, my car is in October build. I have lost about six miles of range, which is right around 2%. And that's really good. Uh, you can see around here, this is around version 10. I was having big loss and I, I was getting a little concerned seeing it go down so quickly. But when I see a huge jump like this, uh, I more relate that to software updates rather than any real degradation going on to have such a fast jump like that. If we scroll down just a little bit, you can see here, uh, this first rating, I don't really take into account too much, but my high, so this is the highest that it's ever been rated since I've been using Teslify. I actually got a 311 one time, um, and the lowest that I've ever gotten is 288, so around this area here. And that would mean I lost 22 miles of range, which would be 7.8%. But this one I don't really consider. The one I look at is starting range. So this is when I started using Teslify. 309 miles is what I was getting. And my current range, 303. So I've lost about 2%. So for the first year, 27,000 miles, that's really good. In the first year, you expect anywhere from 2 to 5% degradation. And then from there, you shouldn't see really too much degradation, maybe 1% a year or even less than that. And then if you keep scrolling, this is like literally every data point it's ever taken, which is very interesting, but a little too much for us to go over. All right, so now I'm going to send you into the past for a little bit uh, for some data on my car. And then we're going to talk about what other people are seeing. And it's pretty interesting. You'll notice that right around the time version 10 came out, pretty much everybody saw this same dip. So let's go to the past and we'll talk about it there. All right, so we're talking about battery degradation. I just passed 25,000 miles, so we're gonna see how my Model 3 is holding up. But before I get into that, I need to do some educating. This is not at all dependent on driving style, weather, charging habits, whatever else you wanna say. Here is what Tesla says about it. And I hope that this video gets a lot of views so people can see this and we can put this argument to rest. I will put the link to Tesla's website that says this so you can share it with everybody you know so we can stop talking about that. This is just EPA rated range times the percent of the battery that remains. That's it. When I picked up the car, it had 3,000 miles because it was an inventory car, a test drive car from Tesla. I have taken it on two road trips and I supercharged those road trips. It was a few thousand miles between the two road trips. Beyond that, I don't really supercharge very often. I do almost all my charging at home on the included mobile charger that comes with the car on a NEMA 1450 outlet. I've seen a lot of people all over Reddit, the Tesla Motor forums, on Twitter, complaining about their cars losing range. Some people, their 310 mile range has turned into closer to 280 miles at 100% charge. I actually asked a bunch of people for their data. Um, so now you're seeing screenshots from people that either emailed me or just tweeted at me some of their data that they've collected on their battery degradation and their range loss. Now, the interesting thing here is this happened to a lot of people all at once. All simultaneously, you're getting a lot of complaints of this happening. So it doesn't make sense that everybody's batteries are suddenly degrading, unless there's a huge manufacturing flaw, um, but I don't think that's the case. What's happening here, and especially you can see this if you look at my past data looking at this chart of my battery degradation over time, 
this estimate changes. So you'll get fluctuations where sometimes the car says that it can charge up to 310 miles, sometimes the car says it can charge up to 290 miles, and it kind of goes up and down as time goes on. Now, usually you'll find these changes between software updates. So I don't know if Tesla is intentionally doing this or just something in the background is going on, but when you get a certain software update, all of a sudden now your car says, oh, I can only charge to 290. And then you get another software update and suddenly your car again can charge to 300, which is kind of what I'm seeing here. One of the things people will say if you tell them that you're not getting your full rated range is go calibrate the battery. Well, I tested this. I ran the car below 10% and then charged it to 100% at home. And some people say, oh, you have to do that at a supercharger. So the next day I did it again. I went below 10%, got to the supercharger, plugged in all the way to 100%, let it finish calculating, all that stuff. It didn't change my rated range at all. And I was seeing this ever since the 2019.28 software update. A lot of you have probably seen Bjorn's video where he is seeing it in version 10. He saw a lot of range loss and he did some tests and saw the actual capacity of the battery is missing. And again, it, it was a big chunk removed all at once. It's not like slowly this was creeping away. So that points to a software update taking this capacity away rather than it being degraded. Now again, is Tesla doing this on purpose? We don't know. So the good news is my state of charge is going back up and you can see over the past few weeks, it's increased a lot. So what am I doing differently? And I actually didn't do this on purpose, but there is something I'm doing to get my rated range back. So a few months ago, like Tesla made a video where their Model 3 was only charging to 260 miles at 100%. Now that would really freak me out. So they contacted Tesla and the people at Tesla, long story short, told them charge to 90% every night. They were previously charging to between 50 and 70%. And that will fix your battery. It'll, you know, over the next few weeks, it'll fix itself. Now they were skeptical when they were told this. I also was very skeptical. And so what I've been doing the past few weeks is I actually have been charging to 90%, but not for this purpose. In the winter, my charging habits are a little different because of the efficiency loss. I charge to 80% the night before, which is what you saw in the chart that had just finished. And I have it set up with Teslify so my car raises its state of charge to 90% in the morning and then finishes charging within a few minutes of me leaving. This helps warm the battery and makes your car more efficient, blah, blah, blah. But because I did this now, my car is charging to 90% daily and I'm seeing this range come back, but it still doesn't answer the question of the coincidence of everybody seeing this with version 10. So I still, you know, I don't know exactly what's going on and nobody does until Tesla like really comes out and tells us. And what they say is just have the car plugged in when you're not using it. And what like Tesla was told is charge to 90% every night. That's it. So I'm really happy with my degradation. Um, we're not really seeing much at all. I will continue updating everybody on this. I think the next uh, kind of six months or so and, and another 10,000 miles or so, maybe 20,000 miles, is going to get really interesting because this is the point where this number should hopefully stop changing so much. As long as software updates and, and things in the background aren't messing with it, my number should stay pretty consistent with a very, very slow drop off. Batteries do degrade over time. These batteries are managed so well by Tesla with the battery management software, the temperature control, either heating or cooling the battery to keep it happy, that any degradation we do see with these batteries is gonna be the absolute minimum. So if you're here because you're worried that your miles are changing, I really wouldn't worry about it. Anything within a 10 mile loss or so within the first year is completely normal. Uh, nothing to worry about. If you are really worried, you can contact Tesla, but just be warned that the battery warranty is for 70% drop. So if you haven't lost 70% capacity, there's really nothing that Tesla has to do for you. I have heard that if you contact them, they will run a remote diagnostic on your battery and tell you the health. And they'll even tell you how it compares to other Tesla owners. I haven't done this myself because my battery's looking pretty good. I really don't feel like I need to do that. But a lot of people say to just change this miles to percentage. Um, and I would do that if I wasn't tracking it. I want it tracked on Teslify. So I leave it that way. The Tesla app has also been updated. So now you can go into the little battery section and you can move the slider and you can just move it up to a percent and it'll tell you right there um, what your 100% range is. That's a new thing that the app does. So if you want to check, um, but you know, in my opinion, that number isn't all that important unless again, you're seeing, you know, 20, 30 miles of loss, then you have something that you can talk to Tesla about. There was also an article from Electric talking about a Model 3 that had passed 100,000 miles. And this person is still seeing between 302 and 308 miles of charge at 100%. Make sure you tell me your battery degradation if you own a Tesla, what model you have, either the Model 3 long range or standard range plus, or if you have a Model S or whatever, uh, comment down below. I want to know what you're seeing with your battery degradation.
While I do drive more than average, there are other Tesla owners that of course drive more than me. Matt from the Channel Tech Forum, I know he drives way more than I do. I think his Model 3's gotta be over 70,000 miles at this point, somewhere around there. And there are some other people that drive more, but because I do drive a pretty good amount, and I like talking with you guys and sharing all this data about my car, helping you learn and me learning from you. Um, I will keep you updated on battery degradation. I'll give it maybe another 20,000 miles or so and I will update you. If you're still watching, you're probably <laughs> a bigger fan of the channel. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Uh, I just wanted to say I'm working on my space here. You can see I got a black curtain now, so it's a little nicer down here. Uh, and I have some other stuff that I wanna kinda get going. I might move camera up a little bit I don't know um, I'm working on the space to make it a little nicer I will always try to have a dog in the background this is actually Ari it was Twix before and now now Ari has taken his place this video is sponsored by the model 3 part shop make sure you check out their store in the description below you can use the code dirty Tesla to get 15% off anything site-wide I hope you enjoyed this one uh, any questions leave them below I hope we have a pretty good discussion on this thank you for watching and you will see me in the next video